Well, this is a video I would have loved to never have to make. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Someone decided to key the entire side, the driver side of my brand new BMW M3 Touring. It's got barely over a thousand kilometers on the clock and after about three days of picking it up, someone keyed the whole side of the car. So really frustrating. I thought I'd make a video to kind of track down the process of effectively seeing if the PPF that I put on the car would have protected the paint. So if you've been following the journey of me picking this car up from new, I did a delivery video and then a PPF video. So before I even drove the car, I had it paint protected. So that means it has a film basically protecting the paint. This one being in satin, so it also affected the look of the car, which was another attraction to doing it. It went from being a metallic black paint to a satin metallic uh, kind of combination of PPF and paint. But the main idea behind it, other than just the design, was to have protection for the paint. Now, protection from the paint being keyed is one thing, but I have to admit it was originally more for things like stone chips or anything like that. And also just so that, you know, if one day, well, when I sell this car, because I imagine one day I'm going to have to sell this car, um, the paint underneath will be basically brand new. One of the advantages is also, and one of the selling points of a PPF, is that if someone were to open you know, the door on your car when parking next to it, or decided to key your car, it would protect the paint. So, wasn't hoping that I would have to put it to the test, but here we are, and this is the ultimate test for the PPF. So, when I found out that this happened, I drove the car uh, back to my girlfriend's house and filmed a little video, and I was pretty bummed out as soon as I figured out that it happened, but here's that video. Just got back from a cycle, and uh, someone's had the great idea to key the front door, the rear door, and the back wheel arch right there. Fantastic. I don't understand this mentality. Hopefully, sorry for the camera moving, I'm on my iPhone. Hopefully it hasn't gone through to the paint, but yeah, I'm just bummed out right now. Just got the car and it's gonna have to go back to have that fixed. Uh, I just don't understand, like, what is the point in doing that? Anyways, can't complain too much. I'm lucky to have the car in the first place, but yeah, just a bit bummed out. So yeah, as you can tell, uh, you know, nothing major. It's, it's not, it's nothing too dramatic. It just kind of sucks that this thing happens. I mean, I don't understand why someone would, uh, would key the side of someone's car, you know, jealousy, um, just, I don't know, not a fan of BMW M cars. I have no idea but uh, just, I, I don't quite get it. And knowing that this kind of stuff does happen, that you get penalized for having put the work in to be able to get one of your dream cars, but this stuff happens. Sorry, I apologize for going in and out of tunnels. I'm just driving the car now back to Switzerland uh, because that is where LHDK Customs, who put the original wrap, well, PPF on this car are based. And so I'm taking it back so that they can take the PPF off, see, if the PPF protected the paint, whether it's gone through and actually scratched the paint as well, which I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, it hasn't. If it hasn't, it's just a simple job of PP, you know, replacing the PPF on the driver's door, the rear door, and the rear three-quarter panel. If it's gone through to the paint, then it's a whole other job where we'll need to either see if it can get polished out, or if we need to repaint those panels or reorder those panels, or I mean, I haven't given it much thought yet because it's one of those cross those bridge when you get there situations. So yeah, fingers crossed that isn't the case. Thankfully, you know, these things are insured. So, you know, it just sucks because just got in the car, really enjoying having it. And now it's gonna have to go again for, uh, for a little while. But you know, as I said, I'm extremely lucky to have the car in the first place. And I'd much rather be in my position driving it than being in the position of the person keying it. So, you know, glass half full or glass half empty. I'm trying to look at it as a glass half full situation. And uh, yeah, so I've now got a four hour drive ahead of me to drive it to LHDK. I'll join you guys there where they're gonna have a look at the car. They know better than I do whether, you know, just from looking at it, they'll be able to tell whether it's just the PBF or whether it's gone through to the paint. And then after that, an insurance expert needs to come look at the car, you know, just to see that everything's legit. And then once that's done, we can then get the work started on having the car looking mint again. 
let's try and turn something not so positive into a proper test of a product. Ouais. Pas fan de, de la Ah ouais? Ça a pas l'air. Okay, so you guys, uh, it was all in French then, but we went down and the guys looked at the car and we're hopeful that it hasn't gone through the paint. So fingers crossed that it hasn't gone through the paint, um, but they seem fairly hopeful. So that's a positive sign, but we still need to wait for the green light from the insurance to be able to take the PPF off and check properly. So the guys are going to film that in a little bit. But while we're here, look at a few cars that they've got in stock. So we've got a Macan in this kind of purple pinkish color, which is quite wild. And then this E-Class has also had a little bit of a, of a bang, which hopefully the uh, this is actually a wrap, not a PPF. Hopefully it would have protected it. Similar looking A45, but this is cool. Look at this Luso, which has a PPF similar to what I did on the M3. So matte PPF on a gloss paint. Looks awesome. I really like Lusos actually. And then look at this Rally Beast. Audi Quattro looks awesome. I mean, just what a legend. These things are worth a lot and you want to protect them. So it's having a few logo changes and the PPF because it's actually going to be driven hard properly, which is awesome. We got a Yaris GR. I love these. I'd love to spend more time in one to actually see what it's like to, to drive one properly. Turbo and then an 812 GTS, both in uh, very discreet specs, which I think is pretty awesome. This is having uh, some PPF put on it right now. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, fingers crossed for when the PPF comes off. But these guys have an expert eye, so usually uh, they'd be able to tell if it had gone through. So good signs so far. I don't know. We'll see. You'll probably uh, know faster than I will. I've got to wait for the, for the insurance now. See you in a bit. And we are back at LHDK Customs, guys. I have just had a look around the car and we're gonna go through the car and the numbers. This sad, unfortunate story finally coming to an end and a happy end at that because look at this. The car is back in its original form. No scratches on the side, absolutely nothing at all. And it just looks, yeah, I mean, it looks mint. It looks exactly the same. There's no difference between the panels that were affected or not. So I'm not sure where we last left off this video. This is about five days later after I last saw you guys. Um, and this has completely convinced me. I am now completely sold on the fact that PPFing a car is a good idea because having had this car for only a couple of days, I would have had to repaint three panels and I've done the crunch down of some of the numbers here to show kind of why this makes sense and why I think it's a good idea on certain cars to protect yourself from stone chips but also disasters like someone keying your car. So here are the facts. If I had gotten, so the original kind of idea of doing the PPF was so that I could get the frozen paint option basically without having any of the downsides of it. So it is quite a lot of maintenance. So you have to be really careful where you clean it. It gets stone chips super easily. And if you end up having an issue like someone keying your car, it's really hard for someone to repaint it perfectly. So repainting so you have exactly the same finish as the original paint is tricky. And also they get quite a bit of sunwear matte uh, paint. So if you know that happens after you've done 30,000 miles and the car was living outside, the paint will have actually had some sun wear, which means that when you repaint it, it may not be exactly the same tint of matte. So these were some things when I was considering, do I just get the paint, the, the metallic and then PPF it, or do I go and get the paint straight away? That kind of turned me off towards having uh, the PPF. So what I would have probably done is ordered the, the matte paint and then have to PPF it on top of things, which was the most expensive option and didn't make any sense. Also, one thing, you know, before I start blabbing on too much about this, which is interesting is, you know, a lot of people aren't fans of matte. Whereas with what we've done here, if I want to resell the car to someone and they prefer metallic, no problem. They can just take the PPF off and you have a metallic car underneath. So it leaves more options upon resale as well. It's also cheaper. So it's about a thousand Swiss francs cheaper to do the PPF on a metallic paint, a full body PPF, the way they have here. Every single part is protected. The carbon is protected. Um, these gloss bits are protected. The roof, the whole paint has been protected. That costs a thousand Swiss francs less than the option of ordering through BMW with their original paint. Now, what would have happened 
if I didn't have a PPF on and I had the original paint color, it would have cost about 3,500 Swiss francs to repaint the two doors and this rear panel. So 3,500 Swiss francs to do all of those completely repainted, whereas the PPF cost 2,500 Swiss francs. 3,500 Swiss francs with the paint. However, if you put it all together, I would have had to pay the 2,500 for the PPF. And if it had gone through and scratched the paint underneath, it would have then been plus the 3,500. So it would have cost me about 6,000 um, to redo everything, but because this is a thick, high quality PPF, it didn't go through. So the insurance claim is only for two and a half thousand Swiss francs covered by insurance, thankfully. But um, yeah, I just find it quite interesting. So basically by taking this option, I have saved 2000 Swiss francs already, because if this was a matte paint and I would have had to replace the three panels back there. That's bearing in mind that it's cost me 2,000 Swiss francs less and I don't have any of the constraints of having a matte car and the car is PPF. So if, you know, if ever this happens again, then that will be another saving. Every time you're saving, if someone you know, decides to scratch your car or anything like that. Long story short, I've now had this car for about a month, a month and a half and doing this PPF, even though it seems like a big expense at first, has actually already saved me 2,000 Swiss francs and allows me to be able to take my car to you know, various different car washes without being panicked, to do loads of miles with it without being you know, worried about stone chips. It also allows me to then, when I resell the car, give it as an option with a metallic paint and have brand new paint underneath. So as you can tell, I'm very much convinced and I'm very happy that I took this decision because it was a big hesitation point. But uh, yeah, the guys here at LHDK have done amazing. One other thing which is actually important to note, if the car had been painted, it would have taken a lot longer to repaint those three panels because you need to get the right paint put in. You need to find someone who's able to paint on a matte car like this. And then it takes about, you know, it takes two weeks, I think, or something like that to dry. It would have taken a couple of weeks, at the least, probably three weeks to a month to have all the work done. Whereas here, drop it off on a Monday, come back and pick it up on a Friday, you're good to go. You would never know, the paint is completely perfect underneath. And uh, look at it, there's no difference in the tint you get, for example, between this part, which was originally done, and the door, which was just redone. So there's absolutely zero difference. I thought it'd be interesting to run you guys through some of the numbers. I find it fascinating to see exactly, uh, you know, whether it makes sense or not, and yeah, completely sold. So if you have a PPF placed near you and you were on the fence, I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put all the links to these guys, LHDK down here, down below, because the quality of the work has also been amazing. So that's what makes a big difference also, because if it had been a really thin um, film, you can get different, thicknesses of films. If it had been a really thin film and it hadn't been applied well, maybe it would have gone through and it would have been a 6,000 Swiss franc claim instead of a 2,500 Swiss franc claim. So that would have made a big difference as well. But um, yeah, anyways, interesting stuff. Now I can hop back in and get back to enjoying my car. So thanks for watching this video. I know it's different to what we usually do, but I want to bring you along all the parts of this adventure of owning a car like this, owning this M3 Touring, the good and the bad. This unfortunately, was a bit less positive than usual, but uh, we'll get back to the usual shenanigans soon, taking this car for its service tomorrow morning. So that will be the next video, servicing the first 2,000 kilometer service. What does that entail? How does it work? Why is there that? We're doing that soon. So see you there. Subscribe if you aren't already. Cheers, bye-bye.